Good morning, everyone. I'm Max McCready's. I've got Darren Fazino with me, and uh, we're going to be doing a little uh, interactive uh, discussion of information warfare and economics and, and a commodity crash. crash. So, so uh, uh, how we envision this working is we would be with you, with you but unfortunately, unfortunately uh, things took over, over and uh, we're, we're going, going to do this uh, through Skype. Skype. So, so uh, what, what we're going to do is uh, we'll talk, talk. we're going to give you some options, options, and you tell us what you, you want to do, and we're going to take, take you on an adventure. adventure. Sound, Sound fun? fun? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get started. Or, or let's, let's try, try to get, get started. started. <laughs> Next slide. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, excuse me. All right. All right. So, so let's, let's begin, begin by talking, talking about the size and scope of the U.S. economy. economy. Uh, uh, on 2015, 2015 numbers, as you, as you can, can see, see, we've got, got a 17.97 trillion GDP. GDP. Our, Our stock market, market capitalization is 26.3 trillion. trillion. Those, Those are big numbers. numbers. We can't really adequately grasp them. So let's look at the most expensive real estate market in the world. Monaco. 15 square feet in Monaco, or square meters, costs $1 million. Totaling that out, the entirety of Monaco is $13.5 billion. The United States could buy Monaco about 1,300 times over. So with that in mind, let's play a little game. Nope. All right. Now, hedge funds in the U.S., you are all going to take the role of a, um, of a U.S. national security uh, advisor. You're going to have to make some decisions and we can give you some information. So, right now, you've been brought information that certain hedge funds in the United States are seen to be in close contact with foreign intelligence officers. Your, Your options, options are to arrest the managers of the hedge funds as spies, recruit the managers to spy on the hostile power, on the hostile power, or you could decide to do nothing. I mean, you might feel like you don't have jurisdiction over this, it's not your job to deal with it, let the market roll as it is. I mean, this is a private, these are private entities. What would you like to do? Nothing. Do nothing. It's like my jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Learn their network. I only do in nothing. this country. I don't do overseas. As the CIA lawyer told us last year. <laughs> do nothing. All right. We're here to do nothing. nothing. And you're also hearing yeah. in the back of the room. Oh, well, we, we can only go over here. here. So, so if you guys want to take a minute and get, get together, together on things, Scott, uh, take this seat. So the hedge funds, funds have, have become, become very wealthy, wealthy based, based on Rhodesian intelligence, intelligence uh, which is giving these funds insider, insider knowledge, knowledge, flush with cash. <laughs> They're, They're purchasing, purchasing controlling interests in strategic companies, companies and other assets. assets. So you got an option. Do you <laughs> investigate with, uh, do you want to recommend that Sifius begin investigations? Do you decide to go big or go home and investigate undercover operations? Or do you, you want, want to just kind of review market, market trading legislation and kind of take a... Did, 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 did we really just let this happen? What? One more time, please. We're at the time. Best work. Section? When they start. Do nothing. Yeah, <laughs> review the market trading legislation. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. We heard legislation. legislation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so having a fluid situation, situation the head funds and Rhodesia begin lobbying this committee heavily. You're now a Washington lawyer's lobbyist and have a general PR nightmare. All right. How do you respond? Launch an official investigation, investigation, choose to back, back off, or stay the course with the current system, system and continue to continue, 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 just, just keep, keep going. going. Launch an investigation. All right. All right. 
Good job. The investigation the headphones proved that there were actually very close to the legal ties. The managers are charged with corrupt business practices. Some strike with plea bargains, some a plea. Execution battle goes on, but the bugger sells all time. We got time for one more, one more round if you'd like, or if you have enough, we can just play again. Play again. Play again. All right. <laughs> what do we want to try this time, guys? Recruit them. Recruit. 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 All right. Do nothing. Do nothing. All right. Suddenly, we are struck up with Twitter hacks from the hot flag, all teenage music teams. Twitter accounts compute as suspects. Oh, and also your kind of lawsuits. What do you want to do? Hack them back! They suck! Yeah. You guys might suggest Derek is one of Derek's favorites, so we're going to guess. We're going to counter that. Strong cyber attacks hit U.S. telecoms and critical infrastructure. Do you want to strike back? Do you want to go with crowd pleasers? Or would you prefer to go with a negotiated ceasefire? Strike back. Strike back. How strong are the crowd pleasers? The crowd pleasers are great. Great thing. Do not go. We're going to make sure strike back and crowd pleasers. Strike back. All right. They both... We'll, 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 we'll go with the strike back. back. Uh, congratulations, we're now shooting more, everyone. Did you just order it? Financial transaction records around a credit card center bank are completely destroyed. Everything's gone. Crowd leads to the need to be green and hue, covering most of the landscape. Uh, this is, as you can tell, things, things, things get a little bit, uh, get a little bit hot on this, on this room. Um, we, we, uh, we, we, we have done that one more, 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 All right, All right, what do we want to do this time, time guys? Undercover okay. ops. Undercover. <laughs> All right. Send it in. Undercover. They, they, they got that. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they pretty, pretty much, much give them an opportunity to turn these guys into uh, uh, intelligence platforms for actual training. Pretty much whatever they want, I would think. This one's pretty quick. <laughs> All right, let's close the morning this guy. Let's talk about it. What just happened? We had a uh, bunch of hot actors attack the U.S. economy using a variety of information operations. And uh, you saw that basically, basically in uh, some of the cyber attacks, some of the lawfare, some of the uh, political warfare. We, we made it a little bit extreme at times for uh, effect. But, but I think, I think the, the underlying, underlying concept was there. there. Uh, you, guys you guys made, made some choices, choices, we gave you some options, the cards fell where they were. were. But I think underlying, we tried to show that uh, stock markets kind of make god awful intelligence pictures. Um, and the reason for that is because good intelligence informs policy from solid sourcing. And that takes time, it requires strategic review, oversight. Um, you really you have, have to, to develop resources, resources and, and consider things. things. And for those, those of us who have ever invested in the stock market, market oh, God, you have to move fast. You have to make your profits and make your decisions. decisions. And, and it really doesn't matter if the person telling you this has 50 years of experience or if it's a person sitting in a, in a dirty old shack on the side of the road throwing yak bones. If they're right, they're right. And you just made a whole lot of money. So um, it, it doesn't really matter if the source is accurate. And, and in fact, in some places, places the actors, actors don't even care about the outcomes because, because they, they make their money transactionally on commission. So, so we have different attitudes, philosophies, and strategies, and almost all of them are wrong, wrong in the long term. term. You make you make your money sometimes, and sometimes you lose it. So good luck. But the bank always wins. It's the 
Exactly. Exactly. So it's all based on who can take positive action first. So why don't we just manipulate the market? Well, that's pretty illegal, as we saw, and as has been explained to us by scary people suits. So we don't recommend that. Um, but there are agents of influence out there, as we've seen and demonstrated and played, and some might, you know, we, we've, we've all experienced. experienced. So, so they, they work, work to manipulate the information environment, environment and this, this can be done for simple statecraft purposes. Japan, Japan in the 80s with, with their uh, Ministry of International Trade and Investment, talk to Lee Iacocca, read his book, or other times for sometimes more considered for various purposes. Some people might consider Russia or China. Um, we recently uh, saw a couple of articles in the Washington Post on April 1st, and through April 3rd. Uh, the first article discussed China wanting to buy American companies, and how this was a great idea that came from a major person at InvestNet. And we really should totally let them do this, because, you know, the more interaction on an economic basis between China and the United States, the better off our nations are. Because, I mean, really, China then has a major incentive not to cause tension with the United States. And that's never really been a problem. I mean, just look at 1914. You know, Britain and Germany had great trade, and they were high. Um... And then, and then on April 3rd, the Washington Post uh, editorial board responded, responded saying, yeah, China China's buying up a ton of foreign companies. We, we probably should, should think about how our trade strategy plays into that because it's not a good thing, thing at all. all. <laughs> we, we, we might need to do something, something about that. that. Um, so, so when, when we, we think, think about, about economic actors, actors we might, might want to consider that as possible agents of influence. Because, I mean, we just saw hedge funds could actually become kind of effective intelligence services. And in their own way, they do act that way. They're just targeting themselves towards different kinds of information. They want to know what's going to happen now, tomorrow, immediately. If they, for example, somebody had known that Alaska Airlines and Virgin America were going to burn, how much money could they have made? So they don't necessarily want to know what's going to happen overseas or in the next few years or just the future picture, but they want to make a lot of money and they want to make it quick. And if it's not challenging, hedging, say it's a great story. I especially know 100 million tons of chocolate. They can stabilize the price they pay by taking a hedge. That's the real purpose of hedging. Yes. yes. So, indeed. 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 Correct. Correct. So, so, really, what we need is a broader market, market, market services, market forces, certain market, market actors and economic actors. actors. Thank, Thank you for the. What you're saying is, ones are getting much inability as the foreign powers dictating want. They, they could. could. Well, they, well, they, they, the algorithm. Flash cash is APL failure. APL. Is it your important mm -hmm. factor taking to already a massive cyber attack? All are for attacks trying to check markets. So the markets are, have already, in some cases, probably affected by cyber attacks. <clears throat> all markets. You mean in all markets? I'm talking about financial markets. Derivative markets, stock futures. I think we may be beginning to see some of this commodity market. All the people who file economic statistics around the world, the bureaus of economic analysis, countries, IMF and the World Bank, a lot of them.
the world's largest banks have all been hacked recently. Information in the market was stolen from them. So this is already, already <coughs> uh, I'm pretty sure people just made money off of the, uh, the merger acquisition announcement by so hacking. This preparation for pages one to eight. Page edge manipulation. How close to that's out of bounds of this. Well, I mean, I mean it's, it's not, not a, it's, but it's, it's a good, good, it's a good, good core, right? it's a good place, place to take this. this. I, mean, I mean, that's, that's, that's we've been kind of just taking it. it. You're, You're right, right. It's, it's beyond our conversation at this time. time. But, but the last, last question, question, what could have happened? What happened? Where, Where could this go? go? And that, that leaves us. But thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, this is all really great discussion. discussion. I mean, we're, we're kind of saying the actual size of the nation doesn't necessarily matter. And all of what everyone just said is kind of exactly what we were going for with this. How, we, we, we took it in one direction. So my, my, organization, my organization, the U.S. Cyber Council, modeling, trying to anticipate the point that markets will be so badly damaged by hacking that they will no longer be properly doubtful that most of the provocation for a number of reasons to do how we conceptualize stuff. I think this is I think the main growth area of cybercrime is going to be cyber crimes uh, that will pay off uh, financial markets. I think that at some point ramp up and require a reform. And we can't fix Are we talking 1926? By saying we won't fix it before it's gone wrong, absolutely. Too much, you know, much uh, inertia and money being paid in these. have to get to a point where trust is undermined. The point at which trust is being undermined, and we've got problems. Funny enough, the people right now have done the most advanced work as far as we can point at which market disruption will both undermine trust and provoke diplomatic and military responses. Russian organized crime, advanced mathematical modeling, head of our best departments of studies, about how much they can do for Angus. Before the Nigeria. <laughs> I shouldn't talk too much here, I guess. One of the things my organization. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, okay. Well, I mean, that was kind of the goal of what we're, we're doing. doing. We're, we're kind of just trying to, to talk about it, uh, see where this goes, uh, and bring a cool new method. Uh, this is the part where we have left open for questions, questions discussion, and you guys kind of beat us here. here. So that's awesome. awesome. Uh, any, any other thoughts, thoughts or questions? questions? All right, then. Welcome ahead of schedule.